Ooh. So first time out in four weeks, really. Been out and done a little bit of shopping, but uh, right now just gone out, walking the dog. A bit fresh on the old noggin, has to be said at the end of the day. But uh, it's nice to get out, get some fresh air and things. Can't do anything too strenuous for like the first two to four weeks. Have to check behind me, make sure that uh, I'm not gonna get run over by any bikes. Uh, and um, yeah, it's just nice to get out, get a few brisk walks going in and things. For once the weather's not wet and rainy. So uh, yeah, hair's doing its thing, it's still growing. Uh, it's all gonna fall out shortly, but we'll go into that in more detail shortly. So yeah, it's nice to get outside, feeling a bit like a vampire trapped indoors. So it is nice to get out, have a little walk around here, take the dog out and uh, get back on it all a bit next week. So we're uh, gonna be doing more walks, just taking it steady. Nothing too strange, nothing too serious. Uh, and yeah, just checking in. It's been 14 days now since I had my hair transplant in good old Turkey. I had an FUE transplant, which is where they take the hair follicles from the back of your head, uh, pluck them out, and then they put little insertions and stick them on top of your head. And of course, after 14 days, you hope that everything is secure, everything's in there the way it should be. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on. So just before this, I will have put a little montage of the 14 days uh, with pictures of my hair and how it's looked and everything. Uh, also, you know, you'll have watched or you may have watched the video before this, which was my seven day, seven day report. And of course, now we're two weeks in. So really, after two weeks, you want to have all the scabs and everything removed. So let's just have a little look at where we are right here right now. You'll see there's some hair growing here. You'll also see a darker area here. I'm going to be quite transparent with everything and here. Now, if you haven't seen my videos before, when I had the hair transplant done and the next day when I got my hair washed, um, there was a little issue around here where they had to work on something and there was a little issue here. Now, I don't know at the time because I'm no specialist on this, but it did bleed a bit here, which is why I think I've got a little bit of a darker area here and here. I've been told that's nothing to worry about, and I'll be quite honest with you, hair is growing in these areas as well, so I'm, I'm not exactly worried about that. I've got some cream, which I meant to have on me, so I could tell you the name of it, uh, that they've just asked me to put on twice a day at the moment for the next couple of days, and then every two days, I'm sending uh, the clinic a, a progress picture, if you like, of how it looks. They're happy. Uh, I've been putting the cream on for the last two days as well, twice a day. So I put it on when I wake up in the morning and then when I do my hair wash or have a shower or something, I put it on again after that. Um, I haven't got it on at the moment because it is white and it stands out really, really white. So I thought oh, I'll do a video first and then I'll put my cream on. Um, so where are we at the moment? So first and foremost, you know, we, we I've gone out, I've had the hair transplant done. How am I feeling now two weeks afterwards? Well, Alas, I can start to wear t-shirts again. I can start to wear jumpers if I want. I have got a hoodie on today, but I have got a t-shirt on underneath. Um, but for two weeks, pretty much I've been wearing shirts, button-up shirts, or uh, these sort of hoodie tops that, that are zip up. Why? Because you don't want to be putting anything over your head. You don't want to be touching your head if you, if you can help it. Okay. Um, I have been sleeping at a 45 degree angle. And I've now been told I don't have to do that anymore. But the back of my head, whilst I can touch it, let me just, uh, you'll have seen pictures and things, but I think, uh, personally, myself, if you, if you look at the picture from when I had it done and all the follicles that were taken out to, to now, I think the back of my head and the side of my head, I think it looks really, really good. Um, and, you know, we saw some friends and stuff the other day and they couldn't even tell where they'd been taken from. They said they knew because obviously they've seen the pictures and the updates, but they didn't know where the actual follicles had been taken from. So I'm really happy with that. Um, was I concerned about scarring or anything? I, it's back of my head at the end of the day. 
Uh, if you're looking at the back of my head, I'm off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You're, you know, you're in my rear view mirror. Um, but you don't want to have scarring. You don't want it to really stand out and look completely uh, different. So I'm happy with how that's healed up and things. Now, it is still tender. Uh, it's, is it sore? It's, well, it's stingy. It's not, well, I say stingy. You, you touch it, you know you've had something done, which, you know, considering what has been done and how many, you know, graphs were taken, 3,032 uh, 3, graphs were taken, you've got to expect something to, you know, to know that it's happened. I'm, I'm pleased to say that, like, the swelling in my forehead is all gone and around my face and everything, and I had some bruising. I think that was due to the swelling. In fact, on video seven... I um, I actually noticed the bruising more than I did in the mirror. Um, when I watched that back, I think the camera and everything em emphasised and made it. But I'm pleased to say that all of that's gone, all the swelling's gone, uh, and it was never really a big deal. When it got puffy around the eyes, which you'll have seen pictures and stuff, um, it, you only really noticed it when you closed your eyes and it just felt a little bit tighter, but nothing that uh, stopped me. I was struggling to sleep at the 45 degree angle with the neck pillow because you, you sleep sort of, I can do it in this chair, can't I? You sleep sort of like that with, with a neck pillow on. Um, and I've been told I don't have to do that, as I said before. Now, I've got used to it. So I would say practice it. If you're going to have this done and you know you're going to sleep at that angle, I, I was thinking about practicing before, but I just thought, nah, why, why get a bad night's sleep when I don't really have to? But I, now, on hindsight, I would have, I wished I'd have spent maybe a week up to it, just getting used to sleeping at that. It's not that bad, actually. It, 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 it felt bad when I was struggling, but, uh, I mean, last night I fell asleep quite nicely. It is still quite tender, so I'm not sure about putting my head down flat now. Um, it, might, uh, it might annoy me, but I'll try it. I'll try it at some point. But we can, you know, I can touch this now. I don't want to go ragging it and everything, but, you know... I can't feel that. Um, I can feel it there, obviously, where, where it's not being transplanted. But you move to that, it just feels solid, feels hard. I know somebody's tapping my head, but I can't actually feel it there. But they say the numbness, you know, could take a couple of months to get rid of that. You know, two to four months, potentially. Uh, the soreness is, is normal as well. That will subside. And, of course, it is a bit pink, which you'd, you'd expect it to be as well. And that can take, you know, two to four months to get rid of that sort of redness. Um, so right now I'm sat in a, a half decent position because the whole hair, it just, it looks a bit pink now. But the whole hair just looks like I've got a buzz cut. But as we all know, or you may, may not know, I will lose my new hair shortly. Um, so normally uh, they say be, after two weeks, maybe the third, fourth and fifth week, which will be coming into. And I'm going to I plan on doing a weekly diary here. So I, I did one, you know, pretty much documenting my week when I had it done and everything. Uh, I think I did days all the way up to day four. And then day seven was like week one. This is week two. I'll do week three, of course, as well. But that's when the hair will start to fall out. Now, there might not be much to report on a lot of those days and things. It might just be more of a heads up, look, 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 look at what's happening. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that when, when the hair falls out. Now, the hair falls out is, is perfectly normal. It's what happens, okay? It's not the greatest thing. They call it the ugly duckling phase, which um, is probably quite fitting for what you're going to go through. But it really is a case of it's just a process. I've always said this isn't a sprint. This is a marathon, you know, to, for actually seeing proper growth and for it starting to look good can between six to seven months. You know, they, they, they do say on the paperwork and everything that 12 months is where you, you should start to see your hair growing to what it is going to grow to and then onwards. So, you know, in six to seven months, they reckon about 40 to 60 percent potential growth. And then after 12 months, you should start to see more and more as it gets thicker and thicker. I am realistic. I have fine hair. All right. I've always had fine hair. That's not changed. The follicles that they took out are still from that. Um, I've said it before. The follicles in my head are quite 
um, there's quite a, a big gap between them, not as dense. So, so some people will have quite dense follicles. If you think about it, you know, they're all sort of on top of each other. Mine are a little bit more spaced out. If you look at the fingers, a little bit. So, you know, a lot of people's are like that. Mine are a bit more like that, which is why they class it as sort of fine hair. So I've always said I am realistic about it. What, what I want is a hairline, okay? I want a hairline here. I have my hair quite short anyway, but I normally have it a little bit longer on top and shaved around the edges. Looking at the scarring, I'll still be able to do that. You know, this is probably uh, this is probably just over number one to what I normally would have. But, you know, my hairdresser's on board with all of this and she's been cutting my hair. I normally have a 0 0.0 around the edges, but we've been doing a number one. And of course, if I can just have it grown out a bit here so that I, when I don't get a gust of wind, it all goes like that. Um, then I'll be I'll be happy. So what have I been doing the last couple of weeks? Well, resting. I have been doing a bit of work, but I haven't really been out and about. Uh, I've done a couple of shopping trips just to get out, but that's realistically just been this last weekend. It's Monday today, uh, and I went on my first sort of shopping spree. Um, well, shopping spree, I just went shopping at the end of the day, nothing exciting. On the Saturday, I did take the kids for a haircut and saw my hairdresser on Friday. But I'm just taking things steady. I've just started walking the dog as well. So we have a dog that I like to go out and I like to do a couple of walks a day and really get stuck in and, and march around. I've, I've been taking it easy. This morning was the first day that I actually went on my own. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm not putting in a big shift. They say, you know, first two weeks are critical, which is why I wanted to be so careful in the first two weeks. Within 30 days, you don't really want to be going to the gym or leaning over and picking things up and, and doing weights and stuff. Everybody's different. I'm just going to do what they've said to do. I've got a plan in December. Yes, December. It's November, beginning of November at the moment when I'm when you might be watching this. I'm just letting you in the context. So within a month of having it done and a few weeks is then I'm, I will start to get out there and, and become a bit fitter again um, and start to work out a bit more and, th and things like that. But I'm just looking after myself. I'm just trying to rest it. At the moment, it looks good. So you just don't really want to bang your head or anything. Some people have said to me, you know, are you, because it does look pink. Uh, a lot of people have just said, oh, you, you've cut your hair. Some people have said, oh, yeah, it looks good. Um, a lot of pe most people know what I'm doing because I've, I've just splattered it everywhere. And I, I thought, well, there's no, I'm not hiding it. I've got nothing to hide. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, I find it all quite fascinating, actually. So am I, have I had, have I had looks or, or anything? I, I'll tell you what, the, the funniest thing is. Now, I don't know because I haven't asked any of these people, but the, the looks I've had... I don't know whether it's more because I've got a skinhead um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I look a bit thuggish um, than it is that I've had something done. But people tend to look and then when you when you look, now where I am, it's quite a friendly area. To be quite honest with you, most people sort of nod and air up and all of that and say hello and things. Um, but I've had a lot more like people just looking away. So whether or not it is because it looks a bit red and then they, they think, well, what's he had done or what's happened to him? Uh, or they think, oh, I'm not talking to him. He looks a bit of a, a bit of a thug. I don't know. It's probably because it looks a bit different. It looks a bit pink, and they're like, oh, I wonder if he's had a hair transplant or something. But I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not fussed. Um, to be quite honest with you, some people might be. Some people might be a little bit embarrassed about it. Some people might be wanting to keep it quiet and things, and that's fine. But realistically, you know, if you didn't know me and I walk down the street now and stuff, you just think skinhead, wouldn't you? Uh, with or maybe he's banged his head that lad Ooh. or if you did know him he'd be like crikey he's got a bit more hair than he used to have so it's all good it's all good so yeah I mean there isn't much to report if I'm quite honest with you that's why I wanted to do the um, the sort of montage at the beginning that showed you the different stages and things so now I'm just sort of I'm, I'm happy I'm in that happy place at the moment where I'm looking at a buzz cut I'm seeing the hair growing through it's like ooh, we got a bit of hair we got a bit of hair <laughs> Uh, and you can see, you know, that's where my hairline finished or used to finish. And then obviously I get a bit of a, a brush forward. Um, so we, we've got a good we've got a good volume of, of, of hair follicles there already. Um, that's, uh, as I said, that, that I'm being told that's not necessarily all it's going to grow through. Uh, you should get more. 
when, when it all, all starts to come through. Uh, the clinic's happy. I've been sending my progress pictures to those guys. And it's really, you know, the first two weeks are the most critical. So when you do this, do plan to look after yourself, eat healthily. Don't be, you know, good, getting in and out of cars or, or putting yourself into situations where you could potentially bang your head. I am a tall person. So that's always first and foremost on my mind anyway. But I've just made sure that I'm, I'm not putting myself into positions where I can bang my head constantly or, or where I could potentially bang my head as well. Getting in and out of cars is another big one. Uh, and of course, whether you do this in the UK, whether you do this abroad, there's still opportunities for you to bang your head no matter what size you are. So just be careful. Um, slow down. That's why I've just thought, just slow things down. Because normally when you bang something or you do something, it's because you're rushing. So slow everything down. But really just plan to look after yourself for a couple of weeks. I know some people that have had this done and then gone straight back to work within a week. Hey, listen, each to their own and stuff. I haven't per se not worked because I work for myself. Anyway, I have some businesses so I'm still working in those businesses, I'm still supporting those businesses, and I'm still doing what needs to be done, but I've just made sure that I'm not active. I speak at events, um, and I also host events as well, so I've made sure that this is in a period where I won't be going out, I won't be putting myself into unnecessary situations that I don't need to, I've planned it all in. You know, my next events that I'm hosting, um, and, and we'll be out there publicly and things will be in another two weeks time. So it will be up to the 30 day mark. So it will be the first month we'll have got out of the way. I am doing things online and work online and Zoom meetings and things, but that's all fine. So just make sure that you can plan it sensibly for you. That's what I would say. I would also say get uh, comfortable sleeping at a 45 degree angle with a neck pillow, potentially before you have it done. It's quite nice. I, I really have found some quite nice positions now with the neck pillow and things. Um, and, you know, it's washing as well. I had to put a lotion on to get rid of the scabs and things. You put a lotion on it for like two hours before then you wash it. And what I was finding, I put the lotion on. And when I had lots and lots of scabs, so it's just after wash five, uh, and they wanted me to start, you know, slowly getting rid of it. What I did do was got the soap on my hands when I use the soap. So the lotion, you just sort of squirt on and, and you can push that on without actually touching your head because it, it's like a, a mousse. Uh, and then the shampoo and stuff, what I what I would do is, they, they did say you could put it on a sponge, and, but that didn't work. I, I, that was what I wanted to do. I tried it, just got it all in my face uh, and I actually missed my head and it, it, it was ridiculous. Is, is to just get the lotion in your hands, get some water in there and then just dab it on straight down, dab, Dab it on, dab it on, dab it on. And then on the back of my head, what I did find was get a lotion in your hands and then just in little circular motion. Don't do circular motions on the top of your head, all right? You shouldn't be moving that at all. I'll show you what you should be doing in a minute. But on the back of your head, it was a bit tender, but you could just do that and sort of wash it in. And then you'd get all of these little scabs, little round scabs falling out. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Uh, and then on the top of your head, if you think of that's the top of my head, you get like three fingers and you do it like a motion like that without actually moving. You don't move. You, you plant them on your head and you just do like a circular motion, but you keep pressure on your head. So I can't really show you here, but you, you so you do that without moving your fingers and, and that you just work your way around and it sort of helps the scabs move off. And then you, I just rinse my head underneath and I, without touching my head, I would just help the water and you, you, you can just feel all of these little scabs coming off into the shower, lovely jubbly out of the way. And to be quite honest with you, it only took two of those sort of washes to get the scabs off. So no big deal there or anything. Uh, and, and that one there, that stayed a bit longer. That, they, they took more than a couple of days really to get them down. And as I say, we're just keeping an eye on that at the moment um, uh, and working through it. So yeah, two weeks to the day after I went and had the procedure done. And um, I think I'm, I'm in a happy place. You know, it's pretty much what I thought where I was gonna be. Um, I can go out now, I can wear loose hats. You're not supposed to wear a helmet 
or like a motorcycle helmet or anything like that for 30 days, which is, makes sense really, because you're going to put a lot of pressure on your head. The do's and don'ts, they say no alcohol within the first seven days, or if you can do it for the first month. Well, I had the opportunity to drink Saturday and I didn't. Um, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to drink until a month's up. Um, and then, you know, I don't drink that often anyway. I'll be quite honest with you. I drink when we're in a situation to have a drink. Um, so I've no problems there. Smoking, they say don't smoke for a week. They say no, uh, sexual activity for seven days as well. So that's the first seven days after you've had it done. Be quite honest with you. Didn't really fancy anything like that anyway with a sore head and a bit worried that if I banged my head or anything. So don't worry about that. So realistically for me, you know, two weeks I've done what I needed to do. I still look at it and I have to just think to myself, if I'm good for another two weeks, then happy days. I've put myself in the best possible position. Right now, nothing's open. You know, there's no open wounds or anything there. So it's just, uh, it's just doing its bit now. So hopefully, you know, We've done what we needed to do. We're looking after the surface with a bit of the cream and things. And I'll, I'll put in the show notes what the cream was. Uh, but you don't use this cream unless a doctor or the clinic tell you to use this cream, okay? So I can put in there what I'm... In fact, I won't. Reach out to me if you want to know what it is. But I was told I've got two different creams or two different medicines. Well, they are creams. I think they're creams. I've only opened one. But one of his, one is a cream. I've got these two different creams anyway that I brought back with me. And they said, listen, you might not have to use these. Don't use these unless we tell you to use them. And we'll tell you exactly how to use them, how long to use them for and things like that. So if you do get into any difficulties, you have got stuff there. Now, one cream which I, I'm putting on there, which I think is a bit of a... Um, oh, which I think is a, a bit of a sort of antibiotic cream. Is doing its job and the other cream is if you have patches so if your hair doesn't grow all the way back and maybe you get a circle on a patch where it decides not to not to grow at the side or anything um that's for that but again you, if you have any problems like this if you have any bleeding you have any scabs you have any issues you speak to the clinic about it you send them the pictures and then they just tell you what to do um and it's all quite easy at the end of the day so it's nice and easy and, and it's job done so Really, now, hopefully, um, week on week, it's just going to be a quick little update to say, hey, my hair looks like this. You know, the next one, I might be, hey, I'm starting to lose my hair. Then the next one might be, oh, I've, I've lost a bit more hair. And then the next week, it might be, I've lost it all now, and i just got a pink forehead. Um, and then hopefully, it'll be like, oh, starting to grow again. So, But I'll keep you posted, because I know I have had people reaching out to me. People are interested in things, so... Thank you very much for all the support as well. Um, it, it has been much appreciated. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are have this planned. That are, You know, I've had this plan since April this year. This was when I, I was just looking for a gap in my schedule to be able to do it. And I didn't really want to do it in the summer when it was red up because I just thought this if it was really hot here now, I'm in the UK, it might have been like really uncomfortable. Whereas it's a bit cooler now. You know, we're, we're coming into winter. Um, so it's, it's quite nice, realistically, to not be in a situation where it's, it's quite hot and sweaty, which I, I think would have been uncomfortable. So that's why I really wanted to plan it for later in the year now. Ideally, I'd have done it at the end of November, but uh, I couldn't wait that long. I just thought October, there's a gap, there's a gap. I've got a two-week gap, let's do it. Um, so that's what we did. So I will, um, well, if you're following this, I will see you next week. And uh, if you're thinking about doing it or you have any questions or I can help in any way, shape or form, feel free to put them in the comments below section. Reach out to me. I'm on Instagram, Mark Fitzgerald Entrepreneur, uh, and on Facebook as well. You'll see the smiley face. So do feel free to follow or, or friend or send me a message. If you want to wanna find out more, happy to help. You know, at the end of the day, we all got to stick together, whether you're a male or whether you're females, because females get this done as well. I've seen that. Uh, and I've, I have seen people doing beards. So people have had hair taken away and, and, and put into their beards. So, you know, great stuff. I'm all right on that one. I have had a shave, so I'm a bit more clean shaven than I am normally, but that's just to match my head. So it all grows at the same time. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, and I'll, I'll give you an update next week. Uh, if there, Well, even if there's not an update, I'll just say that not much has happened. But at least then, whoever's following this, if you're watching video after video, gives you an idea. And then if you're going to go and do it, 
you've got a good understanding about what you're doing. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.